Uh, so my name is Veronica. As I mentioned in the email, uh, I am a Grand Rapids based website designer and um, I also have been in the business long enough that I um, maintain websites, provide advice, SEO, um, website maintenance, social media maintenance. Um, we kind of uh, do a little bit of everything. Um, so the reason I'm contacting you, however, uh, is because um, I am working towards investing further into the holistic health community. Um, and so this is a totally free analysis of your website um, and this a discussion of opportunities that I see for your site and for your business. Um, and I'm just doing it because holistic medicine helped me in a big way. And, um, I mean, I would love to have a greater portfolio of, um, companies that were helping people, truly helping people as opposed to, um, uh, manufacturing companies, um, or other such, uh, companies. But like I said, this is no obligation. I'm just doing it because, um, I'm trying to give back to, uh, an industry that did something really great for me. Um, that being said, if you wanted to go over uh, what I say here uh, in any sort of detail, I am available and can come in for a meeting, um, which I offer free consultation. So the first consultation would be um, also free of charge. Uh, so anyway, um, I'm on your website now, as you can see. Um, I already X'd off the pop-up video, so don't worry that it's not working. Uh, it did work. Um, and uh, to start there... Pop-ups are somewhat frowned upon uh, because they they kind of gut react a viewer to run away, um, especially when they're looking for something really specific on your website, um, and all of a sudden they can't do it. Uh, typically for me, when I come to a doctor's website, I'm looking for contact information or address um, because I'm running late or I'm looking for hours too because I'm in pain or I need help or um, I want to know if I can get an emergency appointment. Um, so can I call and make an appointment? Um, I appreciate that you can do appointment making online, um, but I'm the type of person who likes to speak on the phone with somebody, especially if I'm not sure what's going on. Um, so if a pop-up happens, I kind of like, wow, I get frustrated because I'm already upset. Um, or I'm running late and need your address because uh, sometimes new patients don't have your address memorized. And for directionally challenged people, such as my friend, uh, Amanda, uh, she will never remember your address <laughs> or where you are. So anyway, um, your website, um, well, actually, let me finish that, that thought. The video was extremely high quality and really well done and really welcoming and made me feel like I was getting um, a really good first glance of who you are and what to expect when I come in the office. So in that respect, the video is fantastic and um, is a phenomenal first foot forward um, when I work with clients, I suggest that the video go on the homepage and not be a pop-up, however. Uh, and so that's an option to consider. So with regards to the homepage, first of all, your website de design is lovely. Um, I appreciate that um, even though there's no white uh, in the background or anything, um, the site still feels very minimal and not overwhelming. Typically with color, um, clients will feel like they're being bombarded. And so um, kudos to whomever put together your website. They did a very nice job um, and it's laid out very well. Um, my initial thought as far as critique goes is that um, this header here is a slider based on um, your four main areas, four main pages. Um, and sliders are quickly becoming frowned upon by Google. So it's something to note uh, that you may want to choose a more permanent title and tagline for your site uh, because eventually Google's just gonna start docking um, because sliders load slowly and don't work well with mobile. So uh, it depends on the code. It depends on a couple of different things, but um, just know that that's happening in the SEO world or the search engine optimization world and the Google world. Um, and uh, it's something to pay attention to. 
um, you have great calls to action on your site. So, you know, I'm, I'm very pleased to see that. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and go on through your site. Um, on this resources page, there's a lot of opportunity here. This is actually um, the page I will be most critical about um, while the rest of your pages are um, well done. Uh, so when I came here, it felt like the site was very plain all of a sudden. And um, I attempted to click on um, these practice areas and I wasn't able to. Um, all that you have here are the drop downs. And for how sleek and nice your website is, these drop downs are extremely clunky. Um, especially like here, the title doubles around because the drop down isn't long enough to be able to accommodate it. Um, drop downs also tend to break on mobile, so you're losing opportunities. Uh, I realize that these are also linked again under your What We Offer page um, for your different services and practice areas. Um, or I'm sorry, services and conditions. Um, but I just, I want to highlight that this, this is not necessarily an effective use of, um, of, of website space. Uh, so what I would do is um, redesign this page so that those um, aren't hidden, hidden and are laid out in normal text um, and either make the picture clickable or make it less prominent. Um, and so my brain would make more sense of it and it would also do well for mobile. Uh, moving on to what we offer, this page, which leads to similar links, um, is very well laid out. So I appreciate that you have two silos. You have services and you have conditions. The picture is linked, the title is linked, and then you have a click here as well for those who may not realize that the hover uh, changes into a hand, which means it's clickable. Um, so for your less tech savvy folk, um, they can click on the click here, the call to action. Um, so call to actions are great, clickability is great, and the simplicity of the page is really wonderful. On the events here, um, my main criticism is um, our events only going through June because that's all I'm seeing here. Um, and if not, why isn't there a calendar? Uh, some uh, holistic doctors and chiropractors that I've been to have um, repeating events such as seminars or introductions into uh, their office and to their practice. Um, and that would be a strong thing to put on a ongoing events calendar. So uh, consider that because it will make you look like you're not just in business through June. Um, and that is certainly a harsh assessment uh, to put it that way, but at the same time, you have about three seconds to capture an audience on any given page. And so um, the best foot forward leaves no doubt, and that would be it in this case, having a full calendar. So your blog is okay. Um, it's a little bit plain. I would suggest using a photograph for each of these, either a thumbnail or a um, photograph kind of like cut into a, a slider size. It wouldn't be a slider, but it would be a skinny version. And then when you click in, you would see the larger version of the picture. Um, because right now it's just a lot of black and orange. Um, I'm sorry, dark gray and orange. Um, and there's a lot of words, and a lot of words tends to overwhelm people, especially those with this dyslexia and other conditions. Uh, so being able to um, see some sort of break, especially a visual break, uh, would be really good. Also, uh, I'm sure you realize people are much more visual uh, than they are um, legible, for lack of a better way to put it. So. Um, I will identify with, with a picture 10 times faster than I will text. Um, and we're talking split seconds, but that's critical when you're on a site and especially when you want people to feel comfortable and safe because they're looking for um, a practitioner who will take care of them. And people come to holistic care because they have been burned everywhere else or no one else can figure out what's going on, which is you know, just as bad as a bad doctor. Um, my other suggestion and opportunity is that here um, it says the author is Dr. Denbor. Um, but down here it says Dr. Adrian Denbor. So there's there's a lack of continuity. It kind of goes back and forth. 
Um, so I would make sure that you are working towards that continuity. Um, oh, I just noticed that you haven't even posted since April of 2015. Okay, so that's another issue. Again, um, trust. I, I can't trust you. Uh, because you're not posting often enough, so either you're not paying attention to current events, so you have nothing to say, or um, you've run out of things to say, which you probably should never run out of things to say because you'll always have case studies. Um, so uh, with a blog, it's really important to stay up to date. So I would I would do some work here uh, to get it up to date, um, do some backlogging um, in order to to get it to 2016 so it doesn't look like you had a gap ever. Um, and it looks like you're doing almost once a month, uh, bi-monthly. So yeah, you could, you could write 24 blogs, um, hash them out over the course of a week or two and get them up and, um, you'll have, you'll just have a better reception that way. Um, but finally, uh, you can link the author name. And the reason I suggest this is because you have profiles of your different practitioners, um, and for me, the patient, I would love to see what different practitioners are writing about and what they're specializing in. And this is a really easy way to do it. So get the continuity of the name up, um, link the author so that I can then see an archive of individual practitioners and also have your other practitioners join in writing um, and then get it up to date. So I guess um, this had a lot more um, meat to it. Uh, like the resources page did, and I apologize for that because I did not think that that was going to be the case. I thought the resources page was the biggest one. Um, so to move on to a more positive slant, um, the About Us page is extremely friendly. I feel I feel very welcome when I come here. Um, the video is there again, which is phenomenal. Uh, videos convert 80% more than text, which I'm sure whoever did your video told you, um, at least they should have told you because that's their industry. Um, we do do videography, uh, so that's why I know that. Um, so uh, here with the bios, we could then link um, within that to their blog posts as well, um, even right here. So um, I think it's just a missed opportunity. Um, you certainly have wonderful calls to action everywhere. So I don't, you know, you're not, it's not like you're not taking any opportunities at all. But um, I think with the blogs, you, you have a missed opportunity that is pretty big and you could shore things up in that way. Um, contact page is also great. Um, okay, now I know what to look for when I'm trying to find your office, which is huge because I'm very visual. That's why I make websites. Um, so uh, I really appreciate that. Um, a map would be nice. And in addition, um, having an email address written out on a website is dangerous for spam reasons um, and for getting added to lists. So um, I certainly don't know if you've been having any issues in that respect, but it does open you up to that possibility. Um, typically the industry standard is to have a contact form. So uh, you could keep all this the same, um, remove the info, and then have a form underneath um, that would be as wide as that picture. And um, that's very standard. Uh, so it wouldn't shock any of your clients. Um, find us on the map. So you're kind of about halfway there to the suggestion that I just made for having a map. Um, but offering everything that you can write on your page. Again, it builds trust and it makes people feel like you really understand what their needs are um, and that you're anticipating their needs, which is critical to a practitioner. Um, two more things. Become a patient leads to a page that I'm presuming is a landing page and is used for other things um, because there's no more menu here. And that's usually the only reason you would remove a menu and social media buttons. So um, to me, that just seems a little weird. And as a client, um, I would be kind of stuck. Um, not Most people don't know to scroll down here and to find more information. Um, I just noticed your copyright is out of date too. So now I'm wondering, are you still in business? Um, so there's a thought. Um, 
So yeah, tangent aside, your menu's missing. So let's consider that instead of clicking back because now I can go to Nature's Remedies. And this is the last thing I really wanted to touch on is that it goes out to another web page, which is already not so good to me. That makes me want to gut react um, to just clicking it off because I don't know what it is. And I don't know why I'm here. Now I can see that it is a store for products that you are likely selling. Um, but I wish there was another way that you could be doing this. Um, you could certainly do it as a subdomain. So it would be naturesremediesgr.drdenborn.com. Um, and that would work really well. But uh, it's just going out to another website. The branding is different. I don't know. And it doesn't say anything on here that it's by the same organization or by the same doctor. So again, trust is lost. Uh, so that's that's an opportunity there that um, you know you could you could work towards shoring up. Um, otherwise, uh, ooh, your social media should always link to a new tab. Um, I know I just talked about that, uh, but this is I expect to go to a different website when I uh, click on social media. Um, so uh, always have it go to a different tab because to drive people away from your website. See, now I can't get back to your website. I mean, I can click back. But again, if you're catering to all possible users, um, I'm suddenly kind of stuck. And I, I didn't mean to leave your website. I was probably just curious about your Facebook. But it's good that you have it linked. Um, and it looks like you have some pretty good posting um, rates. You're not posting every day, but you're posting most days. Um, I don't want to log in. Dang it. I apologize that you saw that get off track. Um, so I'm in an incognito window. That's why it's um, not letting me see everything. Uh, so I'm wondering if you're using um, Facebook Business Manager. And if you're not, you really should be because it will... Um, allow you to see analytics and see what times of day you should be posting because I can see that you're kind of posting at um, different times of the day. Um, and I'm hoping that that's an informed decision and not um, because that's when there's time. Uh, so consider that. Otherwise, you have wonderful um, respectability and rating. Um, the newsletter sign up call to action is awesome and so is the shop now. Um, but again, uh, so I would go to Nature's Remedies and I don't, they're two different brandings, so I would still be a little bit confused. Um, so this, there's some opportunities for social media um, and we can definitely go into that because we offer social media maintenance and anal analysis. Um, so I really am here to focus on your website today. Um, great that your logo's linked. Um, really, uh, your home doesn't need to be here. You could have this be linked, um, although this tagline should be linked as well. But then if you remove the home, you could have the about or the contact be down here. Um, and that's just something that's nitpicky. That's not a big deal. Um, anyway, so I hope that this was helpful for you. Like I said, I am available to come in and just talk about this and talk about my experience with holistic health and why I'm doing this. Um, I'm doing this for a lot of different holistic practitioners, mostly focused in the Grand Rapids area, but also um, elsewhere in the United States because we are an international company, even though we're a little boutique. Um, as you would see at our, on our about page, greencupdesign.com, um, you'll see we're just a little boutique. And we, we really don't take on a lot of clients at once because we like to be able to focus. But um, I just want to give back and I'm available if you would like to pick my brain further. Otherwise, I hope this was helpful and um, I hope you have a wonderful uh, summertime. <laughs>